Sometimes we factor a polynomial that has a common factor in all the three terms. Let's look at the helpful hint for this kind of problem. Look for the greatest common factor of all three terms as your first step. Don't forget to include this common factor as part of your answer. Always check your final product to make sure it matches the original polynomial. Do this by multiplying. Now let's see how we can actually carry these steps out. Our helpful hint asked us to look for a common factor first. We notice that 3 is a number that we can divide into each of these terms. So if we factor out a 3, we can say 3 times x squared is 3x squared, 3 times minus 1x is minus 3x, and 3 times minus 30 is minus 90. Now this trinomial we recognize is a trinomial we can factor. We know that two numbers you can multiply to get negative 30, but add up to get negative 1 would be minus 6 and plus 5. We know that x times x is x squared, minus 6x and plus 5x is minus x, minus 6 times 5 is minus 30. This is our answer. But you know it is easy to make a mistake. Sometimes something goes wrong. So we always ask you to check problems like this. Let's try a check. Here is our check. We first of all multiply x minus 6 times x plus 5. That gives us x squared minus 6m, 5x would be minus 1x. Negative 6 times 5 is negative 30. All of that is multiplied by 3. We should end up with this same expression. Let's see. 3 times x squared is 3x squared. 3 times minus x is minus 3x. 3 times negative 30 is negative 90. Does that match exactly what our original problem? Yes, it does. Now, this is a good idea to do in your factoring problems. Multiply back your answers and make sure you have the right answer.